Hello everyone, I am Zorawar Singh Kohli and today we are going to delve into an ethical dilemma faced by a senior manager at an American utilities company, Utilco, which is preparing for a merger with a larger company, Bigco. Let's discuss some relevant facts from the scenario. Utilco, a utilities company based in United States, is on the verge of a significant shift. They are preparing to merge with Bigco, a much larger company. This merger isn't just a simple combination of the two companies. It involves a complete transformation of Utilco's operations. Bigco has set forth certain conditions for the merger. They have requested that all branches of Utilco upgrade their software systems and align with business processes with a new strategy. This strategy is likely designed to ensure seamless integration of the two companies and to maximize efficiency post-merger. However, a challenge has emerged that threatens to disrupt this smooth transition. One of the branches of Utilco has deviated from the plan. Instead of implementing the new software as instructed, this branch has chosen to use its allocated funds towards other initiatives and projects. These projects, while potentially valuable in their own right, do not align with merger's requirements. This unexpected turn of events presents a significant hurdle. The senior manager at Utilco, who is responsible for overseeing the implementation of these changes, now finds themselves in a difficult position. They must navigate this complex situation, balancing the immediate needs of the branch with broader objectives of the merger. The decisions made in response to this challenge will have far-reaching implications for both Utilco and Bigco, and potentially for the future of utilities industries itself. This scenario underscores the complexities involved in comp corporate mergers and the importance of effective project management and clear communication with an organization. It serves as a reminder that even well-laid plans can encounter unexpected obstacles and how these obstacles are handled. This defines the success or failure of a strategic initiative. Now let's discuss some ethical issues from the scenario. The first is accountability. The manager is responsible for ensuring the implementation of the new software across all branches. They must take accountability for the branch that did not follow through, the, through within the software implementation. This involves taking corrective action and accepting the potential consequences. Next is transparency. This involves being open and clear about the situation with both Utilco and Bigco. The manager must decide whether to disclose the issue to Bigco or try to resolve it internally within Utilco. Transparency in this situation would involve informing Bigco about the issue, even if it could have negative implications. Next is honesty. The manager must decide whether to be honest with Bigco about the branch that has not implemented the new software. This involves being truthful about the situation, even if it could potentially jeopardize the merger or their job. This is closely related to honesty. The manager must not only tell the truth, but also avoid omitting important information. In this case, it means being upfront about the fact that the funds for the software implementation were used for other projects. The manager's decision could potentially harm others. If they choose to divert funds from other Utilco projects, to implement the new software, it, it could result in budget cuts, layoffs, and downsizing. This could harm Utilco employees who may lose their jobs or face reduced resources. Now let's discuss some affected and unaffected parties which are mentioned in the scenario. <coughs> so first let's discuss the affected parties that are mentioned in the scenario. The very first affected party is the senior manager. As the person in charge of implementing the changes, 
required for the merger, the senior manager is at the heart of this ethical dilemma. Their decisions will not only impact their own careers, but also the future of Utilco and its employees. Utilco employees are directly impacted by the decisions made regarding the merger and software implementation. If funds are diverted to cover the cost of the software, it could lead to budget cuts, layoffs, or downsizing. Moreover, if the merger is delayed or cancelled due to compliance issues, it could lead to job insecurity or even job loss. The biggest party affected in this case is Bigco. Bigco as the acquiring company has a vested interest in ensuring that Utilco's operation align with their requirements before the merger. Any delays or discrepancies in the software implementation and business process alignment could affect Bigco's perception of Utilco's readiness for integration, potentially influencing the merger timing. Some of the affected parties that are not mentioned in the scenario are customers of Utilco. Customers rely on Utilco for their utility needs. Any interruptions in service due to the delay in software implementation or potential changes post-merger may affect customer satisfaction and trust in Utilco. The other affected parties that are not mentioned in the scenario are shareholders of Utilco and Bitco. Shareholders have a financial stake in the success of the merger. Any delays or complications could affect the company's stock prices and consequently the shareholders investment as well. The managers overseeing the merger. These individuals are responsible for ensuring a smooth merger process. Any complication could reflect poorly on their performance and potentially affect their careers. Employees of the non-complicant branch. These employees could face consequences for their branch failure to implement the new software, such as uh, disciplinary, disciplinary measures or changes in their roles. Suppliers and partners of Utilco are also uh, affected parties which are not in the scenario, not mentioned in the scenario. Changes in Utilco operations could impact its relationships with suppliers and partners. This could potentially affect their business operation, especially if they rely heavily on Utilco. Other than these parties, regulators are also affected. Regulators overseeing the merger process may have concerned concerns about the integration and compliance with regulatory requirements. Any issues could lead to investigations or penalties. So in this situation, I would choose to notify Big Co and take full responsibility for the problem. Why I will do this? Because as a senior manager, it is my duty to act with honesty and integrity. Taking responsibility for the oversight aligns with ethical principles of accountability and transparency. So what would be some long-term consequences? While it may provide a short-term solution, diverting funds and potentially leading to layoffs, it could harm both Utilco's employees and reputation, its reputation. Shifting blame to the non-complicant branch lacks integrity and may damage trust between Utilco and Bigco. Being forthright with Bigco's company, Bigco about the situation ensures compliance requirements related to the mergers process. Upholding honesty and accountability fosters a culture of trust and integrity within the company which is essential for long-term success. So some of the factors informing my decision would be personal values. Prioritizing honesty and accountability means that the senior manager will lean towards a course of action that aligns with these values. 
This may involve taking responsibility for any oversight or errors that occurred within the organization. Professional ethics. Adhering to ethical principles as a senior manager implies conducting oneself in a manner that upholds integrity, fairness, and transparency. This includes making decisions that are consistent with ethical standards, even if they entail difficult choices or personal repercussions. Legal consideration. Considering the legal implications ensure that the senior manager operates within the boundaries of the law. In this case, it involves assessing whether any actions taken or omitted could potentially violate contractual agreements, uh, regulatory requirements, or other legal obligations. Protecting Utilco's reputation and integrity during the merger process is paramount. Any decision made should consider the potential impact on the company's image and relationships with stakeholders, including customers, employees, investors, and regulators. So this scenario, this scenario arises because the senior manager was not aware that one of the branches that had not implemented the new software and had instead used the funds for other initiatives. This suggests that a lack of effective oversight and monitoring of the branch's activity and their use of funds, the branch that did not implement the software might have misunderstood the instructions or the importance of the software upgrade. This could be due to unclear communication from the senior management the branch used the branch used the funds intended for the software upgrade for other initiative this indicates a failure in resources allocation and financial management at a branch level this scenario could have been avoided with regular check-ins and progress reports from each branch that could have helped the senior manager stay informed about the software implementation status across all the branches. Ensuring that all branches understand the importance of the software upgrade and the implication of not implementing it could have ensured compliance. This could involve detailed briefing, written instructions, and opportunities for branches to ask questions. Implementing stricter controls on how funds are used at branch level could have prevented the mis allocation of the resources. This could include requiring approval for significant expenditures or conducting regular audits. And that's the end of our story today. It's a reminder that ethical dilemmas can arise in any business situation and how we respond to them. Thank you for watching the video.